Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to deploy a custom set of bookmarks to an iGel Linux V10 Firefox session. Uh, as you can see here I have my thin client already uh, booted and registered to the management server. So the first thing that we'll want to do is create a Firefox profile. Let's go ahead and do that real fast. sessions browser browser sessions and we'll just create one with the basic configuration the only thing that will change is we will show the bookmarks toolbar inside of our browser session so I'm going to click on save and I'm going to apply this to directly to the thin client and say now and there is our browser session all right fantastic so you start up your Firefox browser session and what we're going to do is bookmark the sites that we want and pull the database that Firefox creates into the management server so we can deploy it to future sessions. So I'm just going to do a real quick couple of sites. And we'll have igel.com. All right, so you click on the little start bookmarks, and now you can click on the um, little clipboard and show our bookmarks. By default it puts them in the unsorted bookmarks folder. Uh, all we can do, we can simply drag over here to the bookmarks toolbar folder and they'll show up in toolbar. Now what I generally like to do is go through and just shorten them so that I can not only get more bookmarks on the toolbar but it'll make a little bit more sense to the user that is looking for the bookmark. All right, so there are three bookmarks. Fantastic. Now we go over to the management console and right click on the thin client. And we say file thin client to UMS. And then we plug in the location of the database file on the iGel. So it's a forward slash and a dot FF Pro. Then a forward slash Firefox. Forward slash browser zero and then forward slash places dot sqlite our target URL should be the UMS file transfer folder so we'll click on that and you can sort this by either creating a new uh, folder for each uh, each database or uh, by naming the file something that makes sense to you so for this circumstance I would create a new folder and I will call this um, uh, uh, actually it doesn't look like it's going to there we go I will call this um, uh, Alexer OS News iGel just so that we have some way of differentiating between different uh, different databases of bookmarks so inside of here we will call this places.sqlite and we'll click on save. All right, and then we click on file TCD UMS. And now the database from the thin client has been transferred over to the management server. So now we need to create an object from that. So we'll go to our file section, create new select new file, click on select file from UMS server. Click on the little three dots there, the ellipses, go into the UMS file transfer folder, go into our subfolder. and select places.sqlite click on open and we'll do the same thing in reverse here so it's dot ff pro slash firefox that's slash dot ff pro slash browser zero slash places dot sqlite we will want read and write for the owner and read for others and the owner can be users we'll click on ok so now what we can do is we can attach this file either to uh, a thin client object or a folder or directly to a profile. For this example, I'm going to attach it directly to the Firefox profile. It's going to ask me when the changes should take effect. I can say now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this device to factory defaults. Um, and then we're going to reapply this Firefox piece so that we can see that um, 
this is actually doing what we want it to do. So we'll watch the device reset to defaults. And I have this set to automatically come back into the management system. So as soon as this device comes up, it's going to automatically rejoin with the management console and put itself back into the demo folder. All right, so it's there. We'll just refresh the console to show that the device has arrived. And there it is. We're going to take this Firefox profile and apply it directly to the device. We're going to say now. And the device will get a browser. And when we open the browser, the browser will have our bookmarks. And that's it. Thank you very much. Hope this is helpful.